Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Morecast and I'm here with another mini card review, mini card netrunner review. I'm not exactly sure how to call this segment yet, uh, but this time as you can see on the card back we're talking about a runner card and it's of course our beloved Katie Jones. Ah uh, yeah. So you get Katie Jones from the Humanity Shadows data pack. Funny thing, I bought the Humanity Shadow data pack just for Katie Jones. Uh, as my first pack that I got uh, for uh, uh, for Netrunner. And the funny thing is that I actually didn't use Katie Jones for the longest time, so uh, that was a bad choice because Katie Jones is the best. So what does she do? She is a resource, she is a connection, she costs two credits, she is unique, so you can have only one Katie Jones. There is only one Katie Jones. One important thing, I already misspoke, she's not Katie Jones, she's Kati Jones, apparently. So her ability is you cannot use Kati Jones more than once per turn, all right? And there's two uh, two actions, two abilities, triggered abilities here. One is use a click, place three credits from the bank on Kati Jones. And the second is use a click, take all credits from Kati Jones. So the idea is you play her for two, she's on your board, she's among your connections, and then you know each turn you can tap her, usually we tap her, but but that's not in the rules, that's something we just, we just do to indicate if you already used her this turn, and you put like, you know, three credits on her each turn. And you know, the next turn you put three more credits on her, and then more, and more, and more, and more, and more. Take all my money, Katie Jones! Take the money! And you continue like this until you, there's really, really a lot of money on Katie Jones, and then you go like, all right, I'm gonna take all the money. Uh, and mainline it into my credit pool and I'm gonna be rich. But she still stays around, so she can still use her next turn and start, uh, you know, putting more money on her. Flavor-wise, she seems to be kind of like, I always say that she's, she seems like a, you know, a Netrunner version of Han Solo, female Han Solo. She has like this sweet hover truck here. And, uh, you know, she seems like she's kind of like some kind of smuggler, some kind of like driver for criminal activities, doing, you know, what, whatever she does best. Uh, her flavor text also says you aren't the only type of runner in New Angeles. So apparently she's doing some kind of like work for, uh, for the seedy underbelly of New Angeles. And the ideas, which I really like, that's kind of like a nice flavor here, is the idea is that you give her money, basically, you invest time in her and you amass kind of like a debt that she has towards you. She kind of like, you, she has, you know, she owes you a favor wherever, wherever you help her with something. I know maybe you're hacking her, you know, traffic lights or something for her. And then you amass those favors for her and then eventually you can call her and she returns your favor. It's kind of weird that you get money from her as a return, but maybe the money doesn't just represent money. The credits don't just represent money, but maybe they represent generally your ability to do things. And Kitty Jones then helps you out uh, and pays off the debt. And of course, one of the cards that she's also on is calling in favors, which kind of like fits to this thematic of, you know, favors, uh, of you collecting favors with Katie Jones and then she paying you back all this time. There's this great matrix uh sequence on calling in favors where Katie Jones comes in with her hover truck and the runner jumps out of a building on top of her hover truck and there's actually an opening in the top of the hover truck so she uh, serves as an escape vehicle for the runner making some kind of crazy infiltration stuff for the corporation here and incidentally calling in favors also works nicely with Kitty Jones but something that we're going to talk about in a second. Kitty Jones is interesting in a lot of ways that's a kind of like a weird card usually we talk about things that are burst economy and drip economy. Drip economy is something that you get over time, you get, you know, slowly get money. It's not a lot of money, but eventually you will get rich. You just have to wait. Uh, and a burst economy is something you get lots of money at, you know, immediately something to allow you to run, um, even though the corporation didn't expect you that you have um, had all the credits. Katie Jones is kind of like a mixture of both, where you can use her only one turn, so she will slowly accumulate money, very, very slowly, every turn, you know, three credits, and you don't even have access to that money. It's kind of like all on Katie Jones. But then one turn, you click her, you know, you, you get all the money from Katie Jones, and then, as we said, you know, shit is about to get real because then you get the money from Kitty Jones, then you get this huge burst of money all of a sudden. 
and then you can do incredible stuff. Cars that are kind of competing with Katie Jones are daily casts and army touch code busting. Those three cars are basically uh, neutral resources. They don't cost any influence and all of those give you economy in different kinds of ways. Uh, Army Touch Code Busting is a more burst economy kind of thing. It's kind of like a magnum opus where you get credits, you get two credits for a click. Um, but the problem is with Army Touch Code Busting is that it runs out eventually at 12 credits. It's, you know, it just gives you 12 credits and then it's over. And you have to click it a lot. Daily Casts is the classical drip economy where you get two credits every turn without clicking. But you get those credits very slowly, eight credits in total. But you pay also three, so it's just five credits technically. Um, and yeah, you cannot accelerate this in any kind of way, but you don't have to spend clicks for this, so that's nice. And again, Katie Jones is kind of like in between. You kind of have to spend clicks for her, but only one per turn. And you don't have to spend this one click per turn. And then, of course, when you get the money, you get it all at once. So it re it's kind of feels kind of bursty when you use her. There is a tremendous thing that is really great about Katie Jones is that fact that unlike the other two cards, it's not running out of money. It stays here. So again, even if you took the money from Katie Jones, she still sticks around. So next turn you start re recharging her all the way. So this is a really great card to include in every deck to make sure that you can survive economically way into the late game. There is also a great review of the mathematics of Katie Jones, who kind of like uh, by uh, Alex Frog on Stimhack. And Alex Frog uh, does a great job kind of like comparing, doing the math, breaking it down, comparing the efficiency of Katie Jones compared to especially something like uh, Army Touch Code Busting. And it turns out that in most cases, Katie Jones is actually more efficient than Army Touch Code Busting. Of course, she, you can't get like eight credits on the turn you play or like on a second turn after you play it or something like this. Uh, you kind of have to wait for Katie Jones a little bit. But in the end, Katie Jones, like in most cases, turns out to be way, way more efficient and, uh, you know, just clicking it twice or something and then getting the money on a third turn is already a huge, huge economical boost. Now, I'm not going to do the mathematical breakdown myself. I think that you can just read um, the article by Alex Frog yourself. Obviously, you know, um, when you play her and just clicking her once, getting the three credits and the next turn getting the credits back is obviously a bad play here because you just get like... You, you wasted two two, credit, two clicks and you got three credits out of this, so eh, it doesn't pay off. But once you get like six credits, nine credits on this, she becomes actually quite interesting. And once you have something like, I don't know, 12 or 21 credits on this, she becomes ridiculously good. She's especially nice if you have other ways of getting money while you charge her up. So for example, if you have something like security testing uh, running next to it, where you can uh, routinely get money until this corporation shuts you out and then you get the money from Katie Jones that you've been saving all along. That's really nice. Some other cards that work really well with her is something like Hostage. You can, because she is a connection, so you can use Hostage to get her because the problem with Katie Jones is she she takes a lot of time to get the money, right? So you want to have her very, very early on your game. And usually you, you run like two, maybe three if you really want her. But if you really want her more than three, then hostage might be a nice solution here. Uh, it is a double event that allows you to get her uh, to tutor for her and to get her into play very early on. And of course, the problem with hostage is that because you can get any kind of connection, uh, for those cases where you already have Katie Jones, you want to run also other connections. So you very quickly get into a deck where you're having a lot of connections. And if you're having a lot of connections, and of course the card that we've shown previously works very, very well, which is calling in favors for every installed connection resource, you get one credit. So with Katie Jones and other connections, maybe like, I don't know, the supplier, or um, John Masanori or Mr. Lee or something like this, you can get sure gamble type of credits additionally to the kind of credits that uh, Katie Jones gives you. And speaking of supplier, supplier also works really nice with her. So supplier is a resource that allows you to put a card into play um, and lowering it install costs by two. It has to be a resource or a hardware. Uh, so Katie Jones is a resource, so you can like, you know, put Katie Jones on the supplier and next turn you can install her for free and start using it right away. That's a really nice, really nice combo going on here. So we already see a lot of synergies with uh, with the connection types of decks. The problem is that it seemed like a good idea before Honor and Profit came out to make it like this very connection heavy deck. But the problem is like there are not too many great 
connections out yet to satisfy running you know enough connections to make something like calling in favors really really work so right now connections might not be just there yet but eventually they will and katie jones will be a very nice staple in there now something to watch out with katie jones is obviously she is a resource so she can be trashed and that's of course very very painful especially if she's trashed while there's like a ton of money on her so you don't want to get tags and the easiest problem here that we already see is that account siphon is kind of like running against katie jones here with account siphon you get two tags um and uh, you also doing the account siphon as well right so you if you have to remove the tags afterwards you spend your entire turn just account siphoning and moving the tags if you don't do that the corporation might be like all right i'm gonna just get two credits and then like i'm gonna trash katie jones so yeah, you have to be careful not to give yourself tags in order to rescue katie jones but of course even then you have to be careful about stuff like uh, breaking news for example which is kind of like an agenda that when it gets scored you get two tags until the end of turn and so the corporation manages to uh, kind of fast advance or something they might have a click left to trash away katie jones with those tags now the nbn agenda that's not quite as frequent is correct assassination that's even worse because then you cannot even prevent it and recently uh, there was also snatch and grab which is kind of like a trace and then it trashes the um, uh, connection and, but you can prevent it by taking a tag, but then of course you have a tag and so they can trash Katie Jones anyway. Uh, something that you can do is um, play a fall guy, which is another connection. So it works, you know, for a connection kind of deck, which allows you to um, prevent a resource like Katie Jones from being trashed once. Of course, again, if the corporation, if you're tagged and corporation has three clicks, they can, you know, you prevent it once, but then they still have a click left to trash Katie Jones. But still, I mean, it's going to be more expensive for them now and uh, it will prevent, it will help you with cases like, you know, breaking news where um, the corporation might be uh, uh, low on clicks. Now, again, as I said, I haven't been playing Katie Jones for a while after I got uh, Humanity Shadow for some reason. I kind of got into like playing a daily cast on my, on my very first tournaments and that's, you know, a really nice card anyway. But uh, I figured out later on when I moved to Katie Jones that Katie Jones is actually a very, very good card for newcomers to play. And that's because you have to kind of reserve a click each turn in order to, you know, put money on Katie Jones. So you start actually thinking about your entire turn in advance. You start thinking about, you know, all right, so one of the clicks is going to be used for Katie Jones. So, and I'm gonna have to run there. So I, there's two clicks left. So maybe I use those two clicks to draw two cards, then run, then use Katie Jones. And also the, um, the thing about that you know, newcomers are often doing wrong, or at least that we always say to newcomers that you should do is to um, never run on your last click because you might run in something like a uh, snare or something and then you need uh, this one click at the end to remove the tag and with Kate but you know if you if you give to somebody this advice they immediately thinking start thinking okay what should I do with this last click you know what if I'm not running on the last click what else am I doing with the last click and Katie Jones is an obvious answer to this so once you start playing Katie Jones you immediately start reserving the last click obviously for Katie Jones and generally there's also a very good reason a couple of really good reasons to not use Katie Jones until your last click for example if you steal like a lot of agendas and you're afraid of a punitive counter strike you can uh, take the credits from Katie Jones instead of clicking her uh, to uh, get the money to maybe survive the punitive counter strike. So what I want to say is that Katie Jones basically fits well in this kind of like you know thinking in advance type of uh, natural play, not a reactive runner, but a runner that kind of plans carefully the turns, kind of prepares for every eventuality. And so playing Katie Jones kind of automatically makes you into this type of runner, kind of teaches you on how to be this kind of runner. Now, one thing I wanted to also warn you about if you play Katie Jones, something I see a lot of people doing wrong. First of all, I see a lot of people using Katie Jones on her first click. And the second thing that I see a lot of people doing wrong is to play her with her last click. So you play her out with your last click and then you do nothing your turn, right? That's not a good choice here because basically then you wouldn't have to have played her this turn. You could have waited for the next turn. Generally, what you want always wanted to do is to use Katie Jones on the same turn 
that you actually played her. If you can't use her on this, on the turn that you play her, then you probably can invest that click into something wiser, such as drawing a card or getting just credits or something like this. Um, it's, it's part of this co whole concept of opportunity cost. You spend the money, you invest the money in something that just lies around and does nothing. So be careful about that. So Kitty Jones, use her, use her wisely. She's a good card, she's a good connection. Use her to hack the planet!